Hi everyone, it's Kayla, welcome to or back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be ranking every single villager I've ever had in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and that includes all the villagers on my four islands that I've had. And yeah, all opinions are my own. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when I post next, and let's get into it. All right guys, so here we have the tier list that I created. We have top tier babies, love, like them, meh, don't know how to describe this emoji, and run. So I have a long list of every single villager I've ever had, and the first one is Claudia the Peppy Tiger. So she's this pink tiger. Honestly, I think she's pretty cute. Like, she's not the worst tiger. As you can see, we have all the tigers here. I think... I think Leonardo's kind of the worst. I think this is Leonardo. He autofilled on my island, and it was a whole fiasco, so... Honestly, Claudia? Super cute. Compared to him. Um, so I'm gonna put her... in meh, because... Honestly, she was like an autofill on the island, and not a fan of the tigers. But next we have Freya, and Freya is a snooty wolf. You guys know I love the wolves. I feel like the wolves are super underrated. They're so cute, and we love we stan. So I'm gonna go grab Freya over here. She's super cute though, like the pink villagers. I'm obsessed. But I think she's pretty cute. I would give her like them. And next we have Twiggy. Here's Twiggy over here. Twiggy is one of my longtime favorite villagers. I had her on my Wild World Island and she was darling. She's so cute. She just looks so angry and angsty with those eyebrows and I kind of love it. I'm definitely gonna put her in love. I don't know, she's a cute little bird. I'm obsessed. And next we have Puddles, the pink frog and pretty sure she's a peppy, but she's my favorite frog villager of all time. Besides Cousteau, we, we love Cousteau with the mustache. Um, throwback to Mustachia, my mustache core island. But I'm gonna give Puddles a very high ranking. I'm gonna put her in top tier baby because definitely my favorite frog. And the next villager is Mitzi. Mitzi is a super cute, I think she's normal, um, super cute cat. Can't go wrong with Mitzi, she looks super cute. I like the blue um, little circle on her face. So I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give her love but she's not my top choice on Gumdrop. She's currently on Gumdrop right now. Um, but yeah, next we have Graham. So Graham is my favorite, one of my favorite hamsters. He is just a legend, honestly. Like he, you should see him without his glasses. I think it's the funniest thing. Just search it up on Google. He looks so freaking cute and I'm just obsessed with the hamsters. Like Apple, Graham, Flurry, basically all of them except for Soleil the Karen hamster, um, but I'm gonna put Graham in top tier baby. I know a lot of you guys are gonna have some words to say about this, but that is my personal opinion. I really like Graham. I think he is the tiniest, cutest little baby ever. And next we have Scoot. So Scoot is currently on Gumdrop, my current Forever Island, and I think he is my favorite duck. I've had all of the ducks pretty much, and I think that he's my favorite. He's just the perfect kid core villager and so little, so cute. He is a jock though, which is not my favorite personality, but I still think he's the cutest duck ever. And next we have Cookie. So Cookie is one of my top three favorite villagers of all time. Honestly, she is so, so cute. I love her personality. She's pink, she's a cute dog, and I'm gonna give her top tier baby because she never did me dirty. She's just the sweetest. This villager is Rosie, and Rosie is the super famous periwinkle cat. <clears throat> periwinkle um but i'm gonna give her top tier because a lot of people love her i understand the hype i don't think she is overrated at all i think she's so cute with her little mouth and she just looks perfect and i love her color so she's definitely a top tier baby and next we have stitches so stitches is my all-time favorite villager he is the cutest i love the cubs the most and he's my favorite out of all of all the cubs and yeah he's the channel's mascot there's a stitches song out by composer cleo and i so go check that out Shameless plug, it is in the description if you guys want to listen to it. But yeah, there's a whole song about Stitches because that's how much I love him. So I'm definitely gonna put him, I'm gonna put him first out of all of the top tier babies because he's just the perfect kid core villager. He's sweet, he's a lazy villager. I just relate with him. 
All right, so the next villager is Silvana, and Silvana was, I think, on my vintage island, and she was the cutest. I think she was one of my favorites ever, so I'm gonna put her in top tier, honestly. I think she's a top tier villager. Um, and it seems like all of my villagers are top tier babies, but just wait guys, there are some cursed villagers that I've had. There are some villagers that I do not agree with. Next we have Lolly. So looks wise, I think Lolly is one of the cutest cats. I like the little W mouth, it's super cute, but honestly, I thought she was a little boring. I thought she was a little boring. I feel like that sometimes with the normal villagers, but sometimes guys, they're so cute that I'm just like, I don't care. I don't care, I'm just gonna have them anyways. But she was not my favorite cat, honestly. Unpopular opinion, don't come for me. But I'm gonna put her in like them. And next we have Marshall the squirrel. So let me look for Marshall real quick. Oh, here he is, okay. So we have Marshall. One of the top villagers, the most popular villagers ever. I have his amiibo card, which was a really good, really good purchase, honestly, because he's just perfect for any island. He's my smug baby. He's so cute. I think he is definitely a top tier baby for me. Let me know if you agree. And the next villager is Poppy. And Poppy, like I said, was the girlfriend of Silvana on my vintage island. And I just love her. She's so cute. Look at her little mouth. Look at her cute little face. Like, it's just so cute. I think she's definitely a little under Silvana, I have to say. Sorry to the poppy stands, but she's definitely one that I love. I just love her color. She's perfect for fall. And the next villager we have is Chief. So Chief is a cranky wolf. Pretty sure he's a cranky wolf. Um, I've had him once on my islands. I think it was the Springcore Island, if I'm not mistaken but he is definitely a really good villager. I liked his, I like the cranky villagers a lot because they're just a whole mood. Like I just relate to them sometimes, especially if it's before 10 a.m. on a Monday, I relate to the cranky villagers. So I'm gonna put him in love. And next we have my girl Fauna. I love her. She is the perfect cottagecore girly guys. If you have a cottagecore island and you're looking for the perfect villager, look no further, get Fauna. That sounds like some sort of ad. I should be sponsored by Fauna, um, but I'm gonna put her in love. And next we have Clay. Clay was on one of my islands and I really liked Clay, honestly. I know a lot of people don't like him, but I really liked him. I think he's good for like medieval islands, cottage core islands. I think his design's pretty, pretty unique. And his eyes kind of scare me though, I gotta say. Take some points off for that one, but um, I'm gonna put him in like them. And next we have Wart Jr., one of my favorite frogs next to Puddles. He's my second favorite frog. And we even have a members only emote kind of based off of him. It's like a frog with a knife. And we call him Wart Sr. because he is apparently Wart Jr.'s dad. Don't know where that came from, but you know, I'm gonna put him in top tier. He's so cute. And I know people like hate on him for his little warts, but I think it's adorable, I don't know. Next we have Bunny and Bunny is Super cute peppy rabbit. You can't go wrong with Bunny. I think she's definitely, she's definitely a, a love, I think. I had her for a short time, but she was super cute. And I just love the peppy villagers. They just remind me of myself sometimes because I have a lot of energy too. But yeah, she's definitely a love. If Teddy, Teddy is one of my all time favorite villagers. I love the bears and the cubs. And you guys remember the Teddy hunts that I had on the channel? It was literally, like 10 streams and it took so long and I still didn't find him. So he's very elusive. He's a very mysterious fella. Um, I'm gonna put him in top tier because he is definitely one of my all time favorites and he's just so cute. I love his eyebrows. I love his personality. Like for a jock, he was pretty tolerable. And next we have Harry, the hairy hippo. I got a lot to say about this guy. So he is just atrocious to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I had him on a mustache island because of his mustache and it was a big mistake. Also, I don't know what he was doing on my island. Like he just appeared one day and I was like, okay, I'll keep you because you're a mustache villager. And next we have Blue Bear. She is so cute. She kind of reminds me of a blueberry. I'm not gonna lie. She kind of looks like a blueberry to me, like a really cute one. Um, I'm gonna put her in love because you guys know I love the cubs. Um, I didn't get a lot of time to kind of get to know her and talk to her because I just ignore my villagers every day and time travel like three years in advance, but I do like her. I like her design and she's super cute. Next we have Maple. So Maple is a fan favorite. I think she is 
perfect for all islands. She's a typical bear. She looks super cute. She's top tier for sure. For sure. And next we have Dina. So Dina is definitely my least favorite duck. Um, yes, I like her less than this and this. They're all cute, but I just think Dina was just a little underwhelming for me. I thought she was going to be the perfect cottage care villager, but I don't know. I didn't really like her colors too. They kind of look like doo-doo, but she's okay. I'm going to put her in meh. Ike is a super cute cottage core villager. I think he is one of my favorite bears, of course. So I like Teddy, Tutu, Grizzly, and Ike. We're not gonna talk about these, but um, I'm gonna put him in love. I think he's super, super adorable. Next we have Ken, the one and only handsomest chicken of all time. Look at him. He's just, he has like that type of stare. They just stares into your soul and you just don't know what to say. Um, he is a ninja. I do like the fact that he's a ninja chicken, so I'm gonna put him in like them. I'm sorry, Lizzie. And next we have Callie the squirrel, the perfect spring core villager. So I had Callie on my spring core island, Honeycrisp, and honestly, I think she is super cute. I like her big cheeks, like her big pink cheeks and her big eyes. Um, she's just very darling, so I'm gonna put her in like them. She didn't really stand out to me that much, but I did enjoy having her on that island. Next we have Genji, and I had him on Lumiere, my Japanese city core island, and I really like him. I've had him on a few islands, actually. So I'm gonna put him in love. I just love his whole aesthetic, his whole vibe. Just the way he's designed, I think it's really unique, and he's super cute, I'm obsessed. And next we have Shino, but I'm pretty sure the 2.0 villagers are not in this tier list, so if she was here, I would put her in love for sure, because she's very, very beautiful. She's gorgeous. Next we have Kabuki. So Kabuki, I'm not gonna lie, he looks kind of scary. He looks a little scary and a little angry, but he's a very unique villager. I think he looks very cool. Like I like the stripes on his face. He's good for Zen islands. So I'm gonna put him in like them. And next we have Pico. So Pico is gorgeous. Look at those blue eyes. Like she's just so pretty and she's just everything. I'm definitely gonna put her in top tier babies because I did enjoy having her on my Japanese island and she's a cub too, so you guys know how much I like, like the cubs. Next we got Vivian, and Vivian is definitely not my favorite wolf. I would say my favorite wolf is Dobie. Gotta love Grandpa Dobie. Um, so I'm gonna put her in here. Don't ask guys, I just did not like her for some reason. Next we have Bo, the perfect autumn core villager. I really liked having him. I think I had him on my spring core island. I'm not really sure, but I liked him. I think he's really cute and he has these kind of sleepy eyes, which is super cute, so I'm gonna put him in like them. And last, we have Static, and Static was on, I think, one of my kid core islands. Um, I really like him. He looks a little mischievous. Like, he looks like he plans something behind your back, and he's about to execute it, and you're gonna, you're gonna hate it. But he's really cute, and I do like him. So I'm gonna put him in, I'm gonna put him in like them because... He was okay. He wasn't anything like crazy special or anything, but I did like his design and I do like the lightning bolt on his head. But this concludes the tier list. We have most of the villagers up here, of course. We have this one down here for a good reason. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you think of my tier list. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Which one is your favorite out of all of these? I had a lot of fun doing this, guys. It was fun to just go down memory lane and just remember which villagers I had, even the cursed ones. But if you guys enjoy ranking videos, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely do more of these. Shout out to my Butterfly Club members for being so amazing. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. See you next time.